All right, let's take a look at question 25 from the 2016 general maths paper. Now, being question 25, it's still only one worth, worth one mark. It's in the multiple choice, but it's a bit more work involved. It's kind of like a band six kind of, you know, question roughly. So let's have a look. We need to find the bearing of C from B. That word from is really important. So if I started at B and if I walked to C, what bearing would I be walking on? All right. Another important bit of information we are given in this question is that angle BCA, excuse me, is obtuse. That means it's going to be more than 90 degrees. Hold on to that thought because we're going to need that a little bit later in the question. Okay. I First of all, if I can find out what this angle is, then I can take it away from 180 to get the bearing that we need. But to find that angle, I first need to find the angle BCA, okay? And I'm going to try and use the sine rule to do that. A over sine A equals B over sine B. Now I can, let's see, have I got enough information to use the sine rule? I'm looking at sides and their opposite angles. So I've got 18 and its opposite angle. I've got 40 and its opposite angle I don't know, but that's okay because it's the only thing, it's the only one thing that I don't know, it's my only one unknown. So I can go ahead and do this. 18 over sine of its opposite equals 40 over the sine of its opposite, which happens to be sine C. And that's great, I've only got one unknown, and now I've got two fractions with an equal sign, so I can cross multiply across them, which gives me this. Now, it's just algebra from here. Divide both sides by 18, or you can use the shortcut that just says, well, I'm going to take that 18 and drag it underneath. Okay, remember that shortcut? I'm taking the 18, I'm leaving the sine C, and I just drag it underneath the other side. Lastly, I've got sine C on the left, but I want C, so I have to inverse the sine. Drag it across to the right-hand side, and it becomes the inverse. That's something I can put into my calculator, and I get 69.9. So let's say... 70 degrees. Now, hold on before you get too excited and think, yes, angle BCA is 70 degrees. We're told in the question that that angle is obtuse, which means it must be more than 90. So, I have to take that 70 away from 180 to get my obtuse angle. So, 180 minus the 70 means that that angle is, in fact, 110 degrees. Now, that helps me because I can now work out the angle I wanted originally because the angle sum of a triangle, all three internal angles, have to add up to 180 degrees. So that must be 45. Now, if that's 45 and AB is a straight line, then the supplementary angle to that is 135, and that is my bearing. Okay, so that angle B, that, that bearing that BC is on, is a bearing of 135. And that happens to be answer D.